The Tampa Bay Lightning won the Stanley Cup in late September, but it did not result in the huge windfall that typically comes with winning the National Hockey League's championship. Blame the pandemic. It pushed playoffs to neutral sites devoid of fans, robbing home teams of critical revenue from selling tickets, beer and hot dogs, which for two previous cup winners, Street. Lewis Blues and Washington Capitals, meant more than $20 million. On top of that, the league played only 85% of its regular season games with fans and is looking like it is still on thin ice. The 2020-21 season, which in a normal year would already be two months in, might not start until mid-January, knocking off one-third of the 82-game regular season. Jam-packed arenas are a pipe dream and with them, the cash from tickets, suites, concessions, sponsorships and parking that account for more than 70% of total revenue in a typical season. The result, the average NHL team value fell 2%, to $653 million, the first decline since 2001. Revenue for the league totaled $4.4 billion during the 2019-20 season, 14% less than the previous year. Operating income was $250 million, down 68%. That's left many owners are scrambling for a lifeline. NHL franchises will be challenged to find creative ways to offset the impact of pandemic-inflicted operating losses, says Drew Dorweiler, a managing director at Montreal-based investment bank IJW & Co. One of these strategies will likely be to raise capital through sales of minority stakes in NHL teams to investors. The league's five most valuable teams, New York Rangers $1.65 billion, Toronto Maple Leafs $1.5 billion, Montreal Canadiens $1.34 billion, Chicago Blackhawks $1.085 billion, and Boston Bruins $1 billion, accounted for almost a quarter of the league's revenue. Without them, the league would have lost $50 million. Those league elite enjoy fat local cable television deals that make up for the NHL's paltry national TV deals, the US and Canadian packages paid each team $20 million combined last season, compared with $260 million per team in the NFL. The Montreal Canadiens collect more than $50 million, followed by the Toronto Maple Leafs at over $40 million. The New York Rangers cable deal delivered slightly less than $35 million. And while the Blackhawks and Bruins are not among the top quartile in cable television revenue, they are the lone hockey teams in their huge markets with rabid fan bases. The NHL did salvage its national TV money by playing the playoffs in its Edmonton and Toronto bubbles, but it missed out on more than $200 million in arena playoff revenue that largely falls to the bottom line, in addition to subsidizing the NHL's weaker teams through revenue sharing. The Florida Panthers lost nearly $30 million, in part because their revenue-sharing check was roughly $16 million, instead of an expected $24 million. Click here for the full list of NHL team values and their financial information.